All carbohydrates are built from molecular monomers, or subunits called sugars, that contain only carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. The typical sugar has a backbone of three to seven carbon atoms. Most of these carbon atoms have a hydrogen group and a hydroxyl group attached to them. Thus, the general formula for sugars is CH2ON, where N is the number of carbons in the backbone. It is from this formula that carbohydrates derive their name, which literally means carbon and water. When dissolved in a watery environment, such as the cytoplasm of a cell, the carbon backbone of a sugar usually circles up into a ring. It is in this ring form that sugars are linked together by dehydration reactions to make larger carbohydrate molecules. Carbohydrates fall into one of three categories, depending on the number of sugars they contain. Carbohydrates, such as glucose or fructose, that consist of a single sugar monomer, are called monosaccharides, sucrose, lactose, and other carbohydrates that contain two sugar monomers are called disaccharides. Starch, glycogen, cellulose, and other carbohydrates made out of long chains of sugars are called polysaccharides. Glucose is the most common monosaccharide and one of the most abundant sources of chemical energy in the living world. Glucose is the sugar found in the highest concentration in the blood of animals, and our own central nervous systems are critically dependent on glucose for energy. But glucose molecules are also the building blocks for the polysaccharide cellulose. Cellulose is the major structural material in the trunks and branches of trees. Glucose's chemical formula of C6H12O6, or CH2O6, is shared with fructose and galactose. However, the three have different chemical structures, giving each a different taste. Monosaccharides, such as glucose and its relatives, have a short lifespan in the cell. Most are broken down to provide energy or linked together by dehydration reactions to form disaccharides or polysaccharides. Two other important monosaccharides are ribose and deoxyribose, each of which have five carbons. The two molecules are identical, except that as the prefix deoxy implies, deoxyribose molecules have one oxygen less than ribose molecules. Ribose and deoxyribose form critical parts of RNA and DNA molecules respectively. RNA and DNA are critical in passing the blueprints of life from cell to cell and from generation to generation. Disaccharides are formed by linking two monosaccharides. Cells, especially those of plants, use disaccharides to store and or transport energy. When an organism needs energy, disaccharides are broken apart into their monosaccharized subunits by hydrolysis. Sucrose and lactose are two common disaccharides. Each molecule of sucrose, or table sugar, has one glucose and one fructose molecule. Sugarcane and sugar beets produce and store huge amounts of sucrose and are harvested commercially to produce table sugar. Many female mammals produce lactose, or milk sugar, by adding a galactose molecule to a glucose molecule to provide energy for their nursing offspring.